Do you believe this image is closely related to Argentina winning the World Cup? It's true that it looks unrelated, and it's also confusing when on social networking sites to leave this photo with a title like, the reason why Argentina won the World Cup. So what is the true meaning of this moment? This is actually a Premier League match in June 2020. Arsenal goalkeeper Bernd Leno in the match against Brighton was fouled by Neil Mope and suffered a serious injury. After that, number two goalkeeper Emiliano Martinez replaced Leno in the wooden frame, and what happened after that became history. For fans of the London redshirt team, Martinez is no longer a strange name to the Gooners. Martinez trained at Independiente's youth system before moving to Arsenal in 2010. At the age of 17, he decided to leave Argentina and join the Arsenal youth team. Born into a difficult family, the decision to leave home at a young age made Martinez think a lot. He recalls the moment that changed his life. I saw my brother and mother crying, saying, please don't go. But I also saw my dad crying late at night because he couldn't pay the bills. So I have to be brave. But this player's career in Europe is extremely precarious and uncertain. Although on the payroll of Arsenal, but these days here, people only remember him as an extra, a mercenary, no more, no less. After a two-year stint at Hale End, Martinez was loaned to Oxford United, a team playing in the fourth division of England at that time. At Oxford United, he made his first team debut. He then went on loan to Sheffield Wednesday in the championship. Martinez was called back to Arsenal and made his Premier League debut on the 22nd of November 2014, against Manchester United. However, after Wojciech Szczesny and David Ospina returned from injury, the Argentine goalkeeper was again loaned out to Rotherham United. After a spell at Rotherham United, Martinez made just six appearances for Arsenal over the next four seasons. He continued to be loaned to different clubs such as Wolves then Getafe and Reading. In 2018, when Martinez was returned to Arsenal by Getafe after a loan period that did not work, the goalkeeper told his brother in the stands watching France beat Argentina at the World Cup four years ago that he would eventually become the main goalkeeper for Albi Celeste at the 2022 World Cup. In eight years at Arsenal, he only made 38 official matches for the London team, and played mostly in friendlies and tours. Obviously, such an outcast will make many players choose to leave the team to look for opportunities to play at other clubs. But Emiliano Martinez did not think so, he persisted at Arsenal, and waited for his opportunity. But the journey to the dream of the World Cup was never easy, it was not until two years later, when Leno was injured, that Martinez was remembered by coach Mikel Arteta and given the opportunity. The goalkeeper born in 1992 did not miss this golden opportunity, playing impressively since replacing Leno. He became a solid fulcrum for Arsenal's defence at the end of that season, including the FA Cup final against Chelsea, where the Gunners won 2-1 to take the title. At the end of the match that day, Emiliano Martinez could not hold back the tears of happiness, when he finally had the opportunity to prove himself in a decade wearing the red and white shirt. Not long after, this 1m95 tall goalkeeper continued to shine to lead Arsenal to the Community Shield Championship. But that may not be enough for him to be fully trusted by coach Mikel Arteta. With what he has shown, he wants to get a main catch. Perhaps that is not asking too much, with a goalkeeper who has given all his youth to this club, and with the two championships he has just brought, Martinez has the right to ask for more. But facing the choice between Leno and Martinez, in the end, the Spaniard still decided to choose Bernd Leno. Many people believe that Arteta has given himself a choice to look to the future, because at this time Martinez has turned 28 years old. Arsenal once again failed to give Emiliano their trust, and a decade was more than enough time to wait. Then in September 2020, Martinez joined Aston Villa for a transfer fee of £20 million. And in his first season playing for the Villa Park team, he set the club's clean sheet record with 15 Premier League matches. Emiliano's impressive performance was finally noticed, in June 2021, he gradually realized his World Cup dream, when he made his debut for Argentina in the match against Chile in the 2022 World Cup qualifiers. With stable form, he was trusted by coach Lionel Scaloni to take the lead at the Copa America 2021 and Martinez really shined with many amazing saves including three penalty saves in the victory over Colombia. Martinez finished the tournament with a clean sheet in a 1-0 win over Brazil in the final. He was also awarded the Golden Glove of the Copa America 2021 as the tournament's best goalkeeper. 
the advancement of this goalkeeper must be said to be speedy. Only recently, almost no one knew of his existence. But now he has become the best goalkeeper in South America, and finally, his dream of playing football at the biggest football festival on the planet has come true. From being an almost unknown person, Martinez has taken the main spot in the Argentina team. After winning the Copa America with his teammates, he vowed to help Messi win the World Cup. And this goalkeeper's statement is not a treat. At the tournament in Qatar, the 30-year-old goalkeeper is one of the irreplaceable pillars of Albi Celeste's rear. In the three group stage matches, he only conceded two goals in the opening match against Saudi Arabia. Then there are two clean sheets against Mexico and Poland. After easily overcoming Australia in the round of 16, Argentina had to rely on Martinez's talent to defeat the Netherlands in the penalty shootout in the quarter-finals. Emiliano blocked two consecutive kicks of Orange Whirlwind. Center-back Virgil van Dijk missed the header, before Steven Berghus could not beat Martinez in the second. Once again, thanks to the former Arsenal goalkeeper, Argentina had too many chances to finish the game. Even if Enzo Fernandez couldn't seal the victory in the fourth set, Lotaro Martinez still had a chance to do so in the final set. With what this player shows, the captain of Argentina, Lionel Messi has praised him as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Messi shared. We know when games are drawn to penalties, Emiliano will do everything in our favor. Martinez also did not hesitate to attack coach Louis van Hall, because the Dutch coach confidently said before the quarterfinals that, if it had to be a penalty shootout, the Netherlands would have an advantage. And after proving otherwise, Martinez pointed a finger at Van Hall and mocked the 71-year-old coach on his way off the pitch. It was not a pretty move in the eyes of the masses, but it gave great impetus to many of his teammates in Argentina, increasing the fighting adrenaline in them, including Lionel Messi and even coach Lionel Scaloni. In the final against France, Martinez once again played the role of the patron god of La Albi Celeste. He made a brilliant save from Randall Colo Muani's finish late in the second half of extra time, before the game went into a penalty shootout. Then, the Aston Villa goalkeeper continued to successfully block Kingsley Coman's kick in the second series, before Chuameni missed in the next set, giving Gonzalo Montiel a big advantage to close the game and take the trophy. The young coach Scaloni later revealed that Martinez told the whole team in the dressing room before the final is considered the best in World Cup history. I will save a few penalties. And Martinez did it again. On the Lucille field, the tension and anxiety evident on the faces of Komen or Chuameni showed that Martinez's reputation and aggression had somewhat affected them, causing both to miss key penalties. Emiliano Martinez has all the personality of a typical Argentine player. He is both talented, mischievous and rebellious. When he took to the podium to receive the Golden Glove Award, Martinez did an ugly act in the eyes of many neutral fans. He went to comfort Kylian Mbappe, but first and then repeatedly provoked the French star. Messi was named the best player of the World Cup 2022, but Martinez gave him a strong psychological fulcrum to shine. The 30-year-old goalkeeper may not represent the righteous side, but the dark side, but he is willing to do everything for Messi in Argentina. A year and a half ago, many people probably didn't even know who Emiliano Martinez was. But at the present time, he has entered the history of Argentine football and stands at the top of fame. From an unknown person, he has now become a World Cup champion. He is a testament to the results of his relentless efforts to find recognition for himself. Be a good role model for young players. Just believe in yourself and take every opportunity. In the end, success will find itself.